Meiosis. Sexual reproduction in eukaryotes involves a form of cell division known as meiosis. It has several different stages that are carried out to let one diploid germ cell result in four haploid gametes. And diploid means that it's going to have multiple copies of the genetic information, where haploid means it's going to have one copy. So, in this first part, this would be interphase. And it's kind of before meiosis starts, but it has to do with it because this diploid germ cell contains genetic information from both a, a maternal and paternal parents. So you've got female and male genetic material in this one diploid germ cell, and it's getting ready to divide to carry out sexual reproduction. So we have replication going on in here because each chromosome is going to double itself so that there's extra genetic material to carry out this process. In the next phase, we have prophase, and the replicated genetic material is going to line up in homologous pairs, which means that each one is the same genetic material, it's an exact copy, and they're going to cross over a little bit at these points here, and where those cross over, they kind of swap a little bit of genetic material, so each one of these pairs is going to take a little bit of the other pair and that is called crossing over or recombination. So you're just kind of jumbling up the maternal and paternal bits before the um, division starts to take place. Then we move on to metaphase. And in metaphase, your centrosomes are starting to pull the homologous pairs apart. And then we move on to anaphase. And you can see they actually are getting pulled further apart. They're not crossing over anymore. And they're starting to move to opposite sides of the cell. And these are all prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1 because this is kind of a two-step process. Then we keep going, and we've got telophase one. In telophase one, there's the cleavage furrow that's preparing for the cells to separate and become two distinct separate cells. There is a nucleus being reformed, the microtubules that have been connecting the chromosomes and pulling them apart have receded and the genetic material is encased in a nucleus again. And then this last part is cytokinesis 1 where the cytoplasm is split and there is a definite split made between those two cells so now there are two diploid daughter cells. So we had our diploid germ cell, the DNA, the genetic material was all replicated, so there was twice as much. We went through this cell division, so now each one of these daughter cells is a diploid daughter cell, and it has uh, twice as much genetic material as it needs to be a haploid gamete. So we're going to go through what is known as meiosis II, the second step in this process. So we have prophase two. And in this phase, you'll see we've got the two daughter cells, and now they're kind of repeating the same process that happened up top. So there's no replication because that was an interphase, but they are going to start having the centrosomes move down to either side and um, start moving out to opposite poles of the cell and start pulling the chromosomes that way. In the next phase, we've got metaphase 2. You can see that the 
Chromosomes have lined up along the equatorial plate in both of these daughter cells. The microtubules are connecting them to the centrosomes and they're going to start pulling apart. So in our next phase, anaphase 2, you can see that actually happen. The chromosome pairs have gotten pulled apart and now these individual chromatids are on separate sides of the cell and they're still going to be kind of being reeled in by the microtubules at this point. And we move on to telophase 2 where we've got a nucleus forming around our new pairs of genetic material that have both the um, mother and father genetic material in each nucleus. They're all split up now. And we have the cleavage furrow again. The cells are getting ready to divide permanently. Your centrosomes have separated to the opposite side still, and the microtubules have retracted. And then we go to cytokinesis 2 which is where the cytoplasm divided between these two new cells and these two new cells, and now we've got four haploid gametes, which means that they each just have one set of genetic information, and they're going to need a partner to be able to um, reproduce. So these gametes are going to be ready to be fertilized, and when they, they are fertilized, a diploid zygote will be formed. So these gametes are ready to be fertilized and if they are then they can go on to create a new eukaryotic organism. So meiosis does have a two-part process and it goes through the same phases as mitosis but they're a little bit different because instead of just getting an exact copy you're mixing genetic material from two different organisms, a maternal and paternal parent and at the end, you're going to have the four haploid gametes that each has genetic information from both parents. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.